Right now I'm in the Mojave Desert, and this is a pretty crazy story. Though I think most stories that start in the Mojave Desert end up being pretty crazy. But back in the 1960s, there was a plan to nuke the mountains behind me in order to realign the railroad and Route 66. Hey everyone, welcome to Sidetrack Adventures, this is Steve. Right now I'm in Amboy, California, and despite it being an absolute scorcher today, this is always a really cool place to stop on Route 66. But the reason that I'm here today is because just north of here are the Bristol Mountains. And in the early 1960s, the railroad, the road commission, and the government came up with a plan to realign Route 66 and the railroad using 22 nuclear bombs to blast a path through the mountains. So right now we're gonna see if we can get a little bit of a closer look at the Bristol Mountains and talk about Project Carry All. The Bristol Mountains are about 11 miles from here. And when the government did their studies for this plan, they conceded that significant damage would be done to Amboy by air and ground shocks. This has to be one of, if not the craziest infrastructure project ever thought up in American history. In 1962, the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe Railway started planning a realignment of the railroad through the Mojave Desert between Barstow and Needles. The railroad largely followed Route 66, and east of Ludlow, it turned to the south to go around the Bristol Mountains. They thought if they could just build the railroad through the mountains, they could shorten the route and save about 50 minutes of travel time. But getting through the mountains would require a lot of expensive drilling and excavating. Someone at the railroad had a wild idea. And in December 1962, the Santa Fe Railway contacted the United States Atomic Energy Commission and asked about the possibility of blasting a path through the mountains with hydrogen bombs. Immediately, this sounds like a terrible idea that would get rejected right away, but the government jumped at the idea. They had actually been waiting for an idea just like this. The government had begun something called Project Plowshare in 1957 in order to investigate the peaceful use of nuclear bombs. What they really wanted to do was build a canal in Nicaragua from the Atlantic to the Pacific Ocean in order to bypass the Panama Canal and saw the idea to blast a path through the mountains as a good test for that. At the same time, the California Department of Public Works was also interested in building a road through the area to realign and shorten Route 66. So they also joined what was to be known as Project Carry All. In November 1963, a proposal was published that called for using 22 nuclear bombs to blast through the mountains and a 23rd bomb to create a drainage crater to hold rainwater runoff. It would be a total explosive force of 1,830 kilotons. By comparison, the atomic bomb that was dropped on Hiroshima was about 15 kilotons. To get a better look at the path they would have blasted through the mountains, let's drive down Interstate 40, which is built roughly along the same path they were gonna build with nukes. Though of course, Interstate 40 was built with conventional means. Now obviously Project Carry All never happened, or I think more people would have heard of it. The plan was to detonate the bombs in two waves in 1966, where they figured the dust cloud would be thick enough to obscure vision for 100 miles downwind, and begin construction of the road and railroad in 1967. Both would have opened for travelers in 1969. Though, I'm not sure how many construction crews would be eager to work in a nuclear blast zone. The plan for the new road and railroad would have largely followed Interstate 40 where we're driving right now. The estimated cost of the project would have been $13.76 million, plus the cost of the nuclear bombs, which was classified. To build the road by conventional means was estimated to cost $21 million. So a savings of about $8 million, though since we don't know the cost of the nuclear bombs, who knows if there would have been any savings at all. The blast would have displaced an estimated 68 million tons of earth and created a canyon with a maximum depth 
of roughly 350 feet. This would have allowed for two rail lines and eight lanes of road traffic. As you can see on the modern interstate, we only have four lanes of traffic. Of course, while blasting a path through the mountains might have been fast, there were some big problems. When we were in Amboy, I mentioned that significant damage would have been done there due to air and ground shocks. There's also an above ground gas pipeline in the area. Then of course, there's the radiation. Initially, a study was released showing that the radiation exposure would be fairly limited, not even reaching Amboy. But when the government asked a scientist from Sandia Labs to review the study, he concluded that the fallout would extend twice as far as what the government predicted and would be five times as strong. While some nuclear tests as part of Project Plowshare had been completed, the Atomic Energy Commission needed to complete a few more tests before they could start blowing these mountains up. Unfortunately for the project, the United States had signed the Limited Test Ban Treaty in 1963, and that prevented one of the necessary tests. Due to the testing delays, in 1966, the California Road Commission dropped out of Project Carryall and started building a road through the Bristol Mountains on their own using conventional means. With that, Project Carryall was eventually abandoned completely, which is probably a really good thing as the Soviet Union had a similar project that led to several ecological disasters. While Interstate 40 was completed through the mountains in the early 1970s, the railroad never did get realigned. We're now in Ludlow, which is only about 30 miles west of where we started, though we definitely took the long way to get here. Project Carryall is largely forgotten today, but here in Ludlow there is a monument to it, so I did want to stop and check that out real quick. And here's the monument for Project Carryall, right here in front of the Ludlow Cafe. This is pretty funny, there's a mushroom cloud on top of this thing. I wonder how many people who don't stop to read the plaque think this is a tree. But here it is. The lone reminder of a time when there was a plan to nuke the Bristol Mountains. So that's our look at Project Carryall and the plan to build a new Route 66 using nukes. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing and we'll see you next week.